So Pete Sampras was considered one of the greatest tennis players of all time, but late in his career, he was starting to fade. It had been two years since he won a major, and the last two majors he was in, he went out in the first round and the second round. The media started to be negative. They started to say, hey, is it time to retire? Is he washed up? Is he done? And Pete was losing confidence as a result. So he calls up a former coach who had left to go work with the tennis association. And the coach, after talking with Pete, agreed to come back and coach him through the U.S. Open. And through all these conversations, he kind of rebuilt Pete's confidence and was able to, to help him through the negativity and his uh, belief that maybe it was over for him. And it turns out he won. Against all odds, he won the U.S. Open. It was his final tournament, and he went out on top. He went out a winner. Just goes to show you that uh, no matter who you are, you need encouragement. And wisdom knows this. Proverbs 10, 11 says, The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life. Proverbs 10, 21 says, The lips of the righteous feed many. And Proverbs 12, 18 says, the tongue of the wise brings healing. So all of these are building ideas, bringing life like water brings life to people, bringing nutrition like food does for the body, bringing healing like a doctor does to the body. All those things are physical, but this is spiritual, right? And so we're talking about bringing life to people bringing them back to life when they're lacking confidence, when they're down, when they're out, when they feel like I can't go on, I can't do it, I, I'm not able to, to make it through. It's these words that come along and, be, and are able to help people along in their spiritual life, in their walk with God, in their relationships that they have with family, with work. It's that ability to say you're not alone and we're here to walk alongside you. Everybody needs this. And if you ever think, oh, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter if I really encourage somebody or not. It doesn't matter if I make that extra phone call or that extra visit or say that extra word to somebody. Just remember Pete Sampras, that he needed it even as great as he was. We said a couple weeks ago, uh, we speak 16,000 words every day, and these are 16,000 opportunities. And it's 16,000 opportunities to build people up and to let them know they're not alone. Let them know they, they can do it.